All right, guys, what's up? Mr. Schiff coming to you live from Hatzel Dormitory, the American School in Switzerland. We are going to try something a little bit different today since you took your quiz. For homework, for Monday or Tuesday's classes, depending on your period, I'm going to ask you to watch this video. There are a few questions at the end, um, so let's get into it, shall we? So the last few days we've been talking about combinations versus permutations. And if you remember, a permutation is when we say order matters. Combination is when the order is insignificant. So let's look at this example of the gelato shop. We're at an ice cream shop. You want to get a two scoop clone of two different flavors out of the following six flavors. So first of all, why is this a combination, not a permutation? I would say because vanilla strawberry is going to be the same combination as strawberry vanilla. Order is insignificant here. It's not asking in how many ways could we eat three different flavors. It's asking how many two groups can we form. So the notation looks exactly the same as permutation. 6C2. And we're going to say combination again because order doesn't matter. So now let's look at how we solve this problem, this 6C2. It's quite similar to the permutation. On the numerator, we have 6 factorial. And on the bottom, just like permutation, 6 minus 2 factorial. So of course, that's going to be 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. And on the bottom, we have 6 minus 2, that's 4 factorial, times 2 times 1. So I already did it. The 4 factorials will just cancel out right here. And what we're left with is 6 times 5, 30, divided by 2. 15. You could also simplify first. 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 5. 15 different combinations of two scope, scoop gelatos. Okay, hope that made sense. Let's look at a few different examples. And what I want you to do is write whether it's a combination or permutation and then tell the notation depending on which one it is. So, there's a litter of nine kittens. How many groups of four cats can we make from those nine? Okay, so obviously this, these four, would be a different group than these four on the right side. So if you said combination, you're absolutely right. We're dealing with groups. The notation would be 9C4. Okay, a few of our grade deans here at Tassus. Mr. Locke, Miss Putnam, and Mr. McKee each want a cat. In how many different ways could they receive one? So, this one, although it doesn't deal with order as we would typically think, is actually a permutation. Why? Because if Mr. Locke wants this cuddly, cute, brown and black cat in the middle, it's different than if he gets this one, this brown one. So, Keep in mind, permutation, we usually say it deals with order, but it's whenever a specific instance has its own position. So this one would be a permutation, and nine cats, P, three, because there are three people wanting cats. In how many ways were the nine cats born? If you said permutation, you're exactly correct, because one, there are a total of nine cats who could be born first, and then, of course, we're left with eight cats, and then seven. Or, quite simply, we could just call this nine factorial. Okay, we want to take a picture of three of the nine kittens. In how many ways can three cats be arranged for a picture? So, in how many ways can they be arranged? Not how many groups of three can we make. So, we're looking at nine P3 the same as the grading problem up here. So for homework, if you guys would all solve for what 9C4 is, 9C3, 9 factorial, and 9P3, um, that will be your homework. I'll see you all on Monday. Have a great weekend. We out.